hi guys in this video we're going to learn how to write algorithm to find n number of n number of fibonacci series and draw flowchart for it here we have to find n number of fibonacci series using algorithm and flowchart what is fibonacci series fibonacci series is a number of series that is 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 so on here 0 and 1 is first two numbers of Fibonacci series next third number is finding adding first two numbers that is 0 plus 1 is 1 right next next number is finding adding before two numbers that is 1 plus 1 that is 2 and next number is finding adding before two numbers that is 1 plus 2 is 3 right like that 5 is finding adding 2 plus 3 like that here we have to find n number of Fibonacci series let's start algorithm algorithm is a step by step process to solve a problem step 1 algorithm is always start with start statement so first we have to write start statement step 2 here we have to read here we have to find n number of fibonacci series right so here we have to read value of n step 3 <coughs> here we know that first two in first two initial numbers right that is 0 and 1 so here we have to declare f1 is equal to 0 f2 is equal to 1 got it here we know that first two numbers right that is 0 and 1 so here we have to declare f1 is equal to 0 f2 is equal to 1 next uh, i iteration i is equal to 2 right here 1 2 so here we have to write second 2 <coughs> step 4 here we have to first we have to print the value of f1 and f2 got it first we have to print the value of f1 and f2 step 5 next we have to find the value of f3 that is adding before two numbers which and all before two numbers f1 and f2 right so here we have to add f1 plus f2 in step number six next we have to interchange the value of f1 and f2 see here what is the value of f1 zero what is the value of f2 that is one here we found f3 value that is zero plus one f1 plus sorry f1 plus f2 that is zero plus one that become one so here f3 value is equal to one right so here next we have to print the value of f3 in step 6 in step 7 we have to interchange the value of f1 and f2 next f1 value become our second number that is f1 value is 0 f2 value is equal to 1 f3 value is equal to 1 right here f1 value is replaced by one value that is f2 value so here we have to replace f1 value by f2 and f2 value by f3 got it f1 value by 1 and f2 value by f3 that is again 1 got it next we have to increase the value of i in step Eight, we have to increase the value of i that is i is equal to i plus 1 each step we have to increase the value of i here initial i value is equal to 2 right now it become 3 next step 8 sorry step 9 here we have to check if i value greater than sorry less than n if i value less than n then see here if n value is equal to 6 
here if we want to find the sixth number of Fibonacci series here we have to check if i value is 3 right is it 3 value less than 6 if this condition is true then go to again we have to check we have to calculate f3 right so here we have to go to step number 5 if this condition is true if this condition is true then go to step number 5 got it else it will go to stop statement see here if i value is here i value is 3 n value is 6 it will check if i value is 3 is less than 6 if this condition is true it will go to f calculate f3 value that is step number 5 here f1 value is 1 right it is replaced by 1 plus f2 value is 1 f3 value become 2 okay f3 value become 2 here we have to interchange the value of f1 f1 now f1 value become f2 right fn value become f2 f2 value is equal to 1 f2 is equal to f3 that is f2 value become 2 that is f2 is equal to f3 right again it will check sorry it will calculate i is equal to i plus 1 increase the value of i that is 3 is equal sorry i is equal to 3 plus 1 i value become 4 here it will again check 4 is less than 6 i value less than 6 if this condition is true it will go to step number 5 again it will check f3 value that is f1 what is the f1 value 1 1 plus f2 that is 2 it will become 3 again it will interchange f1 value become f2 value right that is 2 f3 value become sorry f2 value become f3 value that is 3 like this got it it will continue until if i value greater than n got it it will continue until it if i value greater than n that time it will come out of the loop and it will go to step number 10 and stop the algorithm using stop statement so guys this is the algorithm to find n number of fibonacci series step 1 is start step 2 we have to read n value in step 3 we have to declare f1 value is equal to 0 f2 is equal to 1 in step 4 we have to print f1 f2 value in step 5 we have to print f3 is equal to f1 plus f2 in step 6 we have to print f3 value in step 7 we have to interchange f1 is equal to f2 f2 is equal to f3 in step 8 we have to calculate i is equal to i plus 1 in step number 9 we have to calculate sorry we have to check if i value greater than sorry less than n then go to step number 5 else it will go to step number 10 and stop the algorithm using stop statement Next, we are going to draw the flowchart. Flowchart is a graphical representation of solved problem. Flowchart is always start with the start statement. It is writing within a oval shape. Next, we have to read input values. Here we have to read n value, right? We have to find n number of Fibonacci series. Next, we have to declare the value of f1, f2 and i. Declare f1 is equal to 0, f2 is equal to 1, i is equal to 2. <coughs> Next, we have to print the f1 and f2 value, right? So here we have to first we have to print f1 comma f2 output value is always writing within a parallelogram shape. Next, <coughs> next we have to calculate f3 value. F3 is equal to f1 plus f2. Next, we have to print the f. 3 value right output value is writing within a parallelogram shape 
within a parallelogram shape we have to print f3 value next we have to interchange the value of f1 and f2 right so yeah f1 value become f2 f2 value become f3 next we have to increase the value of i initially it is 2 right we have to increase i is equal to i plus 1 next we have to check if i value less than n if i value less than n if this condition is true again we have to find f3 value so it will go to here <coughs> to find f3 value f3 is equal to f1 plus f2 if this condition is false if i value less than n if this condition is false we have to stop the flowchart using stop statement so guys this is the flowchart to find n number of fibonacci series it is start with star statement next we have to read n value that is n to find n number of fibonacci series right so we have to read n value next we have to find sorry we have to declare f1 is equal to 0 f2 is equal to 1 and i is equal to 2 next we have to print f1 and f2 value next we have to calculate f3 output value is writing within a parallelogram shape and declaration is writing within a rectangular shape next we have to find f3 value that is f1 plus f2 next we have to print f3 value out here we have to print f3 value output value is writing within a parallelogram shape next we have to increase sorry replace the f1 by f2 and f2 by f3 we have to replace the value value of f1 and f2 next we have to increase i value that is i is equal to i plus 1 next we have to check if i value greater sorry less than n if i value less than n if this condition is true it goes to calculate f3 value so it will repeat this process again until if i value greater than n if i value greater than n it goes to false statement then it will stop the flowchart using stop statement so guys this is the flowchart to find n number of fibonacci series thank you for watching if you like my video please like and subscribe my channel <coughs> thank you all the best